Welcome back to the channel everyone. We have just gone through Braunston um, locks. There's a set of six locks behind us. They were really big and really heavy and they've done me to be honest, I'm knackered now. Um, so we just stopped for a cup of tea and a creamy donut. So I'm full of energy again, which is awesome. Um, we are just about to go through Braunston tunnel. It's just up in front of us. Um, so we're gonna push off and head there. Um, please subscribe, like, and press the little alarm bell button. It really helps our channel grow. Um, you know, we're quite new at this. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that would be awesome. have a ghost story to tell them oh yeah there is a ghost story we're getting all paranormal and spooky <laughs> today Ooh. see you there <laughs> so that's us warning people that were coming into the tunnel and we listen out for a reply if we hear a reply then obviously somebody's in there um, but it is a two-way traffic tunnel I believe so you can pass 
two boats side by side, probably with very little room to spare. And um, on the canals you tend to pass on the right, um, unless indicated otherwise, that's kind of the general rule. So we'll stick to the right hand side. This is very exciting, this is our first tunnel. Um, yeah. And it looks very dark and I'm a bit scared of the dark. Just a little bit over 2,400 yards, did you already tell them that? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> so it's just over 2,000 yards long. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to go through. Um, it was built in 1796. And when they started building it, they actually started to veer off course um, and started to go the wrong way. So there's actually a bit of a kink in the middle mm. of it's, the tunnel. It was caused by quicksand. Okay. Made them go off. It was easier to dig there, obviously. Okay. Right, I'm going to turn you around because the tunnel's right here. Oh, the big black hole. So we've got a light on the front of the, um, the narrow boat. It's not necessarily to help you see where you're going, it's just oh, to tell. Go. 1,873 metres or 2,048 yards. Two way traffic. Oh, so that's our first little notice board and going into it. Oh, gosh, it's a. Oh, we can see the other end. Is that the other end? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so the light's on at the front. I don't know if you can pick that up. Hello! Hello! Oh, you can, look. That's quite a good light, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got another torch here. It's not turning on. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I've just blinded us both. We just think about how long those bricks have been there. I think that section there where it's gone all grey is probably where they've strengthened the walls. Um, and then we're back to the original brickwork again. Look at that. It's kind of pretty. Now let's see if we can spot the pink. What if there's any backs? Red mark or pink markers on the ceiling, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I'm not there for. Okay, somebody's left a post in now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that bit of ceiling, that looks old. A little sign on the wall. It's hard to believe the two boats are passing here. You'd have to get right over. Yeah, there wouldn't be much room to spare, would there? But it's very cold in here. I wish I had my gloves, but it's not dripping from the ceiling, so that's good. Missing bricks there. Oh, is that a kink? That looks like a kink. I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but we just kind of go to the right slightly, don't we? And then it yeah, goes... it's kind of an S. Yeah, kind of and then it goes back. So we're at the part where all the workers realised and started to swear. <laughs> <laughs> In 1796, that they, when they realised they'd gone off course. An experienced boat owner had moored up his boat, Bramble, on the south end of the Braunston Tunnel, stopping to enjoy a bacon sandwich. It was early in the morning and there were no other boats about the canal, as he ate his breakfast with his wife sat on the stern. Anxious to get underway before the morning rush of holiday boats began, he sailed into the tunnel. Halfway through, he noticed a working boat ahead of him. Thinking the boat must have pulled up in the tunnel for a while, 
He followed on behind but called his wife on deck to have a look. They both watched as the boat reached the end of the tunnel before the sunlight streamed in, causing them both to briefly look away. As they exited the tunnel, they were astonished to find that the boat had vanished. Travelling on to the Braunston locks, they thought they might catch up with the boat and share its locks down the flight. Reaching the flight, the man found the locks set in his favour, and with no sign of the working boat, partway through the locks he met up with another couple heading towards the tunnel. They confirmed they had not seen another boat since sunrise, and especially not a working one. Was it the sun playing tricks on the waters and tunnel walls or an old timer taking his last load to store? We'll never know. tropical now, oh. it's so cold in there. You think so? Yeah, my hands are frozen. Oh, so there we are. It's definitely a light behind us. Well. That's, that's what the other side of Boston Tunnel looks like. There was no boats behind us though, was no, there? No, there all? wasn't, there wasn't, I really freaked out. Because <laughs> I did look as well. How strange. Yeah, we've got to pull over and see what happens. Oh, cool. Okay, well, that was nice. <laughs> well, look, there, look, you got a bit wet. <sighs> oh. So I think now we're finding somewhere to moor up, aren't we? Yeah. Morning, everybody, from a misty Grand Union Canal. We, uh, we went through the Braunston Tunnel last night and moored up just after and um, quite a nice spot actually and now uh, we're going to carry on today and um, see where we get to. Morning. morning! This morning we're heading up towards Crick um, so when we get up here we're going to take a, a turn to our port side and uh, head up towards Crick. Um, before you get to Crick, there are five or six or seven maybe locks uh, and then the, the big tunnel. We're going to actually moor up um, before those um, and turn round before those as well. Uh, we've got to be back at the marina for Friday. It's currently Tuesday. So uh, yeah, just nice and easy couple of days really. Nice, eh? Yeah, it will be good. Looking forward to it. It's just time away, different scenery, it just makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. And tomorrow, the weather says it's going to be sunny. Sunshine. <laughs> Almost tropical. <laughs> like three degrees or something. Oh, and for those of you interested in knowing whether it was a ghost boat following us out of the Broxton Tunnel yesterday, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was um, the Artful Dodger. Yes. It was the Artful Dodger. He gave us a nice smile and a wave as so I went past. So that was, um, no, was that nice? No, I was kind of wishing it was the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it was just weird because well, I did look behind us before we went in the tunnel. Well, I looked halfway through as yeah, well. Yeah, and you took a photo yeah. halfway through and then all of yeah. a sudden he was there. Yeah. So. Very bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if there's a hook on it. I need to get one of those gravel things so I can pick that rubbish off the canals. It is quite sad seeing the amount of rubbish that just floats by or that's on the towpath or that just gets dumped on the road. It's not great. So we've been travelling on the main Grand Union Canal and we're just coming up to Norton Junction we're going to turn left or port um, onto the Leicester section of the Grand Union Canal. So I'm going to 
going to turn you around because we're just going under a bridge. lovely section of the canal it's just been so calm water looks like a mirror busy little section down here do you think that's CRT down the end there yeah oh look at this garden with the chairs oh it's called the toll house isn't that pretty oh it's got a shark jaw on the wall look. Here we go, we're turning left. It says Leicester, four and a half miles probably. Yeah, four and a half miles. We're not going to get that far today. We're going to cruise up to the locks. There's a wind in Hull, we'll turn round. And find somewhere nice to moor. Otherwise, I'm just going through a set of locks just to come back again. There's tollhouseboatsales.com there on the sign. It's an Airbnb. Okay, bridge one of the, uh, line. I don't know if you heard that. David just said bridge number one of the Leicester section of the Grand Union Canal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> We've just uh, moored up before the Watford locks. You can perhaps hear the M1 in the distance. It's quite funny hearing all that noise when you've been kind of isolated from it for a while. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. It's quite noisy. Yeah, but it just makes us think the amount I of just... times that we've gone up and down motorways. Here's the M1. We don't have to do that no more. Well, yeah, the, the majority of the time anyway. The amount of times that we've sort of drove on there, never thought we'd be, uh, <laughs> be here. There's the boat just up there. We've just Use the wind in hole and turn around because we're not going to do the locks today. And there. Uh, it's a pumping station. Yeah. Watford locks closed. Does that mean we couldn't have used it anyway? or? They were saying, that's what that lady was saying, there's some works going on at the lock, so maybe ah. this was it. 1902. So we couldn't have got. Possibly not. Past if we want today. No. So here's the uh, here's the locks. 1902, rebuilt 1976. It says. And it doesn't say that it should be closed. It's not the 17th of January yet strange. Anyway, we'll have a wander up and have a look. Oh. There we are. Seven locks, 16 metre rise. And that's the Watford Lock flight. 
and this is bottom lot number one. God, that's a big old, uh, big old tree that's come down there. Bit of firewood there. It's really misty today. We've just come back down the morning. <laughs> just come back down the Bronston Locks. And we're just about to go into the last one. You can, you can hear the sound of a trad engine. That's not us. <laughs> there's David, there's our little narrowboat. So the gates are open for him to cruise straight on into. And I just thought I'd show you at the at the lock here there's um kind of a shop and I think it's been here for years if anyone knows how long it's been here that would be really interesting but um I don't know if anyone saw our last video it's uh, the place where my brother started trying to talk to the swans <laughs> oh, which was very funny um, so we're coming up to it now so it sells ice creams groceries sweets gifts pictures maps books DVD and canal wear and it's got these lovely old signs there I do love an old sign and I can't work out how to turn this camera picture around so I'm going to have to do it this way so if you can see in the window there's all this canal art Canal art is very traditional and was painted on them people's boats as a bit of decoration but they needed something quick and something that would dry quickly as well so they made these roses and it's kind of like five or six swishes in different colours but yeah let's see if we can get back in there I'm not sure if I was showing you very clearly I'll take a photo and uh, get David to pop it in here Okay, David's near the lock, so I better go and pay attention. So there we go, we just finished the, uh, the locks at Braunston, just coming out of the bottom lock and there's Shane just closing everything up and uh, we're heading back towards Dunchurch now, um, get back do some work and uh, yeah, carry on with our week. Plan the next trip. Plan the next trip, here she comes. As you come through Braunston Locks and under the bridge, I'll try and show you. Oh, hang on, let me turn you around. 
there's Serendipity, which is the shop that I keep telling you all about. So they run art classes and they have art supplies and they also stock all the local crafters wares. But unfortunately not open today so I can't go in and say hello. <laughs> Quite an early morning cruise for us. That was early start. Earliest we've done. And um, a bit dodgy with all the ice and the mud, but yeah, some of the some of the lock gates were quite slippy. Took it easy. Yeah. Smacked myself in the knee with the windlass again. <laughs> but we did the Indian rope trick with the uh, <laughs> with the centre line today. It was frozen. You'll have to go over onto our Instagram page to Come and uh, say hello on Instagram, you'll see the photo. And you'll see the photo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it for the locks. Um, heading back through... Kingfisher. Braunston. Hi, Kingfisher. See Yep. Aww. Beautiful little guy. They're very rare to see, the Kingfishers. That was lovely. Yeah. We saw a squirrel run across the bridge as well with something in his mouth, yeah, but we didn't little... catch it, did we? No. That was really cute. Wildlife along the canals is something we really love. Yeah. It's just so nice being out in the middle of it all. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> right then, shall I put the kettle on? Yes, put the kettle on. <laughs> See you guys later. Ta-ra!